He's different than people want to pretend he is. First of all, the guy was a deadhead. <laughs> yeah. You know that? He used to yeah. follow the dead around? Yeah. So for sure dropped acid. I, that'd be my guess. I would. How, how else can you enjoy the music? I, oh, I think it's legally required that you've taken acid at least once if you're going to enjoy the Grateful Dead. I'm not sure. I don't know. I haven't I think brushed up on the statutes. I think alive to LSD, according to my friends who've been there and done that. It's, it's really interesting what the, um, the public perception of Tucker Carlson is, or, or particularly how uh, polarizing he is to people that it's almost, it's almost like you're there describing a different person than yeah. he actually is. Right. Um, I really, I think he was the most interesting person in cable news, the most thoughtful, most intelligent. Like he was really, he, um, I don't agree with him on anything. You know, on my, uh, on my podcast, we used to do a segment where it was just, it was, I had just done it so many times that we started joking about it being a segment that we called Contra Carlson because mm -hmm. I was just disagreeing with him. Like he had all these economic ideas that I completely disagree with. And I disagree with a lot of stuff he said, but he was like such a, like the, the lone voice in like really the corporate press who was completely opposed to the military industrial complex, completely opposed to big pharma and all of the COVID insanity. It was really good on like speaking up about a lot of really important issues, issues that you would think like a good leftist would at least appreciate that he's good on that issue, you yeah. know? And some some of them did. This is what, he's the guy who's having Glenn Greenwald on his show. You know yeah. what I mean? He's the guy who's having Aaron Mattei and Jimmy Dore. Yes. These aren't right-wingers. Yes. He's having like, the, he's A having them. A lot of left-wingers. And it was, it was very interesting. He wasn't a partisan. He would be completely against the Republican Party, was viciously critical of the Republican Party, hates the Republican establishment. And even the stuff, I see, I've seen so many people be like, um, you know, he was a... Uh, he bought into Trump's uh, claims that the election was stolen. And I'm like, I don't know, dude, do you watch him? Because I watch his show. And that's actually not true. He was the guy. He took a lot of heat from this from right wingers that immediately following the election of 2020, he really aggressively called out Trump's lawyers, uh, Rudy Giuliani and uh, Sidney uh, Powell, I think was the other one, because they were making claims about the Dominion voting machines that they flipped millions of votes. And Tucker Carlson went on his show and he goes, okay, if this is true, it's the biggest story in the history of the United States of America. So what evidence do you have? And he's like, we have reached out privately to, to the, Trump's lawyers. We've gotten nothing in return. So to be clear, they're making this claim and providing nothing to back it up. He really was like, no, no. Now, what he has said later is they'll be like, they'll pull quotes and be like, yeah, but he referred to uh, 2020 as a scam. Or something like that. And it's like, yeah, but you don't watch his show. So you don't get that, like, what he was saying was, yeah, the Dominion vote flipping thing is bullshit. No one's ever provided any evidence of that. But the fact that big tech and the intelligence agencies work together to undermine the Hunter Biden story to get Joe Biden across the finish line is bullshit. <laughs> like, that's, yeah, that you know what I mean? And that's a scam. And he's that's a completely reasonable position to take. Again, it's just, you know, like, look at this, dude. Don Lemon is out at CNN, right? I promise you, whoever replaces Don Lemon has the same exact views as Don Lemon and the same exact views of everybody else at CNN. And that's not true for Tucker Carlson. Right. Like, there's at least there was a guy out there who like would disagree with the with uh, the rest of the people at his network. Yeah, disagree with both political parties. Uh, He's you know? really designed for the internet. I hope he. I hope he goes there. He's going to, unless they've paid him off. To like the, I mean, if I was a person in a position of power and a, a wild card like Tucker Carlson got released from Fox News and maybe Rumble makes a deal with him or something like that, do you have any fucking idea how big that would be? It'd how be big, big his show? It, it could make that that app. It could make that that platform. I mean, yeah. if Tucker Carlson goes over there, it would be worth it for them to invest a considerable amount of money. And, but if I was Fox News, that's the last thing I would want. So I would make sure that we have him locked up for the entire term of some contract, some no compete, and pay well, him off. You'd, you'd be better off just giving him the same amount of money he made when he was on the air. Well, and, and I wonder him opposing you. I wonder what he's already under contract for. You know right. what I mean? Like there may already be 
some clause in his contract that says, you know, if we leave, there's X amount of time. Sure. I don't know. You they're know? fucking Fox News, man. They're smart. Yeah. They're not stupid. But although, it was very shocking seeing him leave. Yes, I was I was surprised, although in high one of those things where like I was surprised right away and then like two days later I'm like, how was he ever even there? Like how would this guy was on the eight PM hour at Fox News saying the CIA killed Kennedy? <laughs> like how did how was that ever a real thing? You know, right. like he it's did like it's, say that. it's insane. He was like it but what's crazy to me is that like so many progressives have like it's like you're, it's like invasion of the body snatchers or mm-hmm. something. It's like, is this the real you, man? Have you just right. been replaced with an NPC? The right. 8 p.m. hour at Fox News is saying the CIA killed Kennedy. That's not interesting to you. Right. That's not like some like I'm not saying you have to agree with them on everything, but like that's not kind of that's different than Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. That's a different. This is a different world we're living in. 